Hello everyone, welcome to valuespectrum.com. In this video I'm going to make an overview of fast anal company. In this menu you can see the prices button, which gives you the information about the prices of all European and American stocks. Fast anal company is traded at the US stock exchange and index is US tech index. All these companies are listed alphabetically. Here you can see the maximum price and uh, the minimum price of the past 12 months. First annual company's minimum price is 38 US dollars and uh, maximum price is 51 US dollars. And uh, now the company is traded at 50 US dollars, which is slightly less than uh, the maximum price. If we click on it. We will see the details of the company and short overview. The Stanwell company is active in the industry sector and uh, diversified industrial subsector. In the button you can see the historical prices. If uh, we press the all button, we will see the price development from for the company from 2005 to 2017. At uh, the beginning the company was traded only at 14 US dollars and uh, during the years from 2005 to 2010 the price increased to uh, 22 US dollars. In uh, February 2012 the price was uh, 50 US dollars and uh, the price uh, decreased to 43 US dollars in uh, February 2016. Uh, during uh, the last year uh, the price uh, was unstable and uh, it increased to 50 dollars in February 2017. Here we can see one uh, sell recommendation for the company, five hold recommendations and uh, a no buy recommendation. It uh, gives average uh, target price 47 US dollars. It's uh, 5% lower than the current stock price. It means that uh, the company is a little bit overrated now. We can click Annual Reports button. Here we can see all of the available annual reports of the company. They can be downloaded here for free. We can go to the results. Here we can see Revenue, costs, profit, margin on profit, return on investments for every year from 2008 to 2015. The company had the lowest revenue equal to 1.9 billion US dollars in 2009 and uh, the highest equal to 3.8 billion US dollars in 2015. Uh, we see that uh, revenues in 2014 increased by 408 billion million US dollars compared to 2013, and uh, revenues in 2015 increased by 135 million. US dollars uh, compared to 2014. You see that uh, the company had the lowest profit equal to 184 million US dollars in 2009 and the highest profit equal to 516 million US dollars in 2015. Profit in 2014 increased by 45 million US dollars compared to 2014 
and profit in 2015 increased by 22 million US dollars compared to 2014. If we go to the balance report here in the menu, we will see all the most important information such as equity, debt, total assets, etc. for every year from 2008 to 2015. In 2008, the company's balance sheet equaled 1.3 billion US dollars. It's uh, the lowest value. And uh, the equity equaled 1.1 billion US dollars. This is around 87% of the total balance sheet. In 2015, the balance sheet increased to 2.5 billion US dollars and it's uh, the highest value. And uh, the equity equaled 1.8 billion US dollars. This is around 71% of the total balance sheet. You can see that in 2013, 17,277 people were employed at the company. If we look at the details, we will see all the information we need about price earnings per share, price earnings ratio, etc. The company had the lowest earnings per share equal to 0 0.62 in 2009 and uh, the highest earnings per share equal to 1.77 in 2015. In 2014 price earnings ratio equal to 28. So the market valued the stock at 28 times the 2014 earnings uh, per share. We see that in 2015 price earnings ratio decreased to 26. In 2015 the company's market capitalization equaled 13.7 billion dollars. And in 2015, the company had 290 million stocks listed. In our next video, we will take a look at some other US companies. Thanks for watching.